I have to do with my makeup every single morning. So I've got it all in these little baskets. So I've decided this bit here, I'm going to take the books out, make that into a pull-out drawer, and then I'll put a strip light under here, and then literally that will be my dressing table. I do love a bookshelf. I love a bit of Paddy Doherty. <laughs> it's actually quite a big area in there. So because that's a little bit tricky in there to get the shape of the wood that I want to construct, <coughs> I'm going to draw it on wallpaper. Don't worry, it's all up here. <laughs> to an angle inside there so this is what I need to build on Ta -da! full of makeup <laughs> I bought some sticky things from um, Amazon because I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put one of these there was one on there I really liked oh they're bigger than I thought I'm gonna put one on the front of the drawer to the dressing table I thought I could use some of the other ones anyway around the caravan because they say really nice things like uh, just things like possible dreams they're just nice I'm still at Tim's because he's still not back from abroad I went home this morning to check my awning was still there because we're having some torrential winds Obviously, last night it was howling I think they said in, in the coast it's like going to be 60 miles or 60 70 mile an hour anyway it's all okay I went back this morning and it was fine but because I'm at Tim's, um, I need to start my dressing table. So remember I meshed all of this paper. So this is the actual drawer. Well, that's the shape of the drawer. <laughs> um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually build the base of it around this piece of paper. <laughs> Jigsaw back together. <laughs> oh shit, I've got it on this rug. Bollocks. At least it's together then, and then um, I can uh, just use nails, but you can't do anything when the wood's not even glued. It is a little bit wonky though, I'm not very good with that saw cutter. Get in there, I've run out of wood. <laughs> How annoying, I literally need about two or three more struts of that wood. Um, but I do seem to remember ex-husband Tim built the bar in his pub out of that slatted wood. Ouch! On my recommendation, I do believe. So I'm going to go over to the pub and have a look and see if there's any. I literally need three bits, so I'll just borrow three bits from him. And he's away abroad anyway, so he won't even know. <laughs> God, this is shocking. Let's go and have a look and see if there's any wood in the pub. Oh my goodness, even there's puddles all over the floor. Oh, dogs are going to get me all muddy. Go on then, drop it and I'll throw it again. Oh. There was definitely some wood in here. 100% unless he's moved it. I know where he might have moved it into that other shed thing with the door was falling off no luck finding the wood so i'm going to make a stir fry for tea which i could be doing in my little new kitchen extension if i was in the caravan but i'm not i'm still staying at tim's a chicken oh do you know all of his utensils are really sharp his scissors his knives everything is just so sharp it's such a pleasure to cook do love a stir fry that's why I made the kitchen extension so that I can make stir fries and stuff out in the thingy because it stinks so if I don't cook in the caravan which I don't really cook anyway but um, I do love to make a stir fry and actually I can make a Thai curry and I can make spaghetti bolognese and stuff like that so I get really impatient it just takes so long doesn't it and you're like staring at it going Stop biting. You're staring at going. Oi! Pack it in! You're staring at it going, cook, quick, cook, quick. Especially with chicken and the outside's white and the inside's pink and you just 
staring at it like what, watching paint dry, isn't it? <coughs> when it's nearly cooked, I chop the chicken up really finely because it just gets the pink middle bits cooked a little bit extra quickly. Mushrooms. I don't think I'll ever be a chef, but it does taste nice, trust me. You want to know a tip of how to get uh, spinach chopped up really quickly and finely? Screw it up into a bowl, get your scissors and chop the ends. I learned that when I was at the Wimpy working when I was about 14 and we used to do that with the lettuces. It's just a really quick way of chopping up spinach because spinach is really bitty and annoying to cut, isn't it? There you go. <laughs> Give that all a little stir. Good old mixed vegetable stir fry. The only problem with these is the broccoli things. They're always massive, so you just have to break them up a little bit. It's like a little rainbow stir fry. So when Tim cooks, he uses every single pot and pan in the kitchen. All you really need is a pair of scissors and a saucepan. That'll be lush. I popped back to the caravan yesterday just to check everything's okay. Um, when I got back, I had no electric. <laughs> Remember I had all that problem with my electrics before and the man came out, fitted a new transformer. That transformer that he fitted is um, it's just dead, dead as a dodo. Right, I've cut all of my lengths. I've got these little bits. So because I've got to get the height off the drawer. So I'm just um gonna glue them onto the base. That's the front. And then do the sides and everything, and then I'll work out how to screw it up. Right. Use my mouthful. Mm. Pizza mini cheddars, yum yum yum. These two need a bracket, so I'm starting to make the drawer to go on the base. Bam. <coughs> the screws are from the front of the wood, and that's the front drawer. Because uh, my screws are too long. I don't know what to do about that. Good Lord, he's sweating in this conservatory, but I can't open the doors because the dogs come in. <laughs> so I've got to see in here sweating and I can't get to the door to open it because Tim's put his big craft table in front of it. Um, basically, I'm trying to put the brackets to attach this drawer together, but the brackets are like this and I couldn't find any that are slightly at an angle anywhere search B&Q top to bottom so I've had to make them like that using just my hands and the hammer um, so that they fit into here that's triangular that bit so I've had to make the bracket wider because it's not going to fit like that one I just went searching amongst Tim's things to try and find something to make these a right angle because when I bang them with a hammer they're getting an arch in them and I found this thing so I put it there like that and then literally just bend and then just flatten out the bits that aren't quite right to just straighten out the, the edge. So that's given me a proper angle that I need for that. Dogs were driving me mad and I thought what can I do to make them go to sleep or something? they've been for a walk and they've been out in the garden I found this um, calming sleep music for dogs I think it's like 15 hours long and they're never in sleep for that long but look I think it's working is he all asleep in? <laughs> No, go and listen to your sleep music. It's nearly there. It's um, <coughs> a little bit not quite right. See all the gaps and the bot the top. 
is not stuck to the bottom yet. Um, I'm still going, but you can see I've sort of created the drawer. It's just and not quite as I planned. <laughs> Whoever invented that is almost as ingenious as my kitchen. Because <laughs> that's made me be able to bend the things. The brackets, it's even got like a little screwdriver and an Allen key on it. Isn't that clever? <laughs> it's not um, very good. I don't want to put any more of these brackets on because this would split in. I think um, I'm just going to glue the top to the bottom with the wood glue and then turn it upside down and pin it with these. I've got these little, they're like cable. You know when you've got a TV cable? When you've got a TV cable and you've got these little white things that stick over the top, I'm going to take these nails out and use those to tack it in, I think, because I don't think they'll make the wood split. You know, like in the bathroom, when you have seal around the bath, I'm going to put um, a strip of the glue inside here as well, like that, like in the bathroom, because I think that will just give it like an extra bit of, um, an extra bit of support when it dries. Because that there has got a gap under it, it's not even, yeah, I think that would be all right. Just what the calming music does for these lunatic dogs. Why do they come to me all the time? Get out of my new drawer. One of those bloody... <laughs> Die! Shush! Die!